everybody, it's me, Erica, and this is your Married to Medicine recap. They're going to go on a three-day trip to Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia is very historical. A lot of things have happened down there. A lot of great food down there. I've never been to Savannah. When I lived in Georgia, I always wanted to go, just never got a chance to go. It's about four hours away from Georgia, so they're going to be on a bus for four hours. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I don't I'm like I don't know how this is gonna go but anyways so they show all of them getting ready Damon and Heavenly have their conversation about what happened at the at the party Damon is not happy about it Allura was in there he was like they were like go out I don't like I don't like her attitude <laughs> I don't like Allura's attitude <laughs> she leaves and Damon's like I don't like anybody touching my wife and I don't like it as I was on Twitter and I was typing about it I thought to myself, I feel like Mariah sent that guy over there to pick her up and for her to take a picture and then to send it to Aiden. I do not know why, as I was typing it, I was like, because why of all people would he go to Heavenly? Why would he think it was appropriate? And why did they have footage of what's her name Mariah saying I took a picture and heavenly said oh you got your receipt now and then Aiden saying look at Mariah sent me this picture and look at your wife that boy did not have heavenly up long enough for somebody to take their phone unlock it launch the camera app and take a picture he did not have her up that long. I really feel like Mariah sent that boy over there to take a picture. I just do. And she moves like that. So it's not like a far-fetched, out-of-pocket characterization of her because that's the kind of person that she is. I really, I really, I won't say that's the kind of person she is. I feel like she's that type of person who would do something like that. Anyways, Damon says, I don't like for anybody to touch my wife. And I don't think it's appropriate for the, those men to have been walking around. Y'all are probably surprised that I think that. I don't think it's appropriate for them, those men to be walking around like that. I don't think it was appropriate for them to be touching the women without consent, picking them up, married women at that, and older married women at that. I know that they're young looking and have a youthful energy about them, but you know what? I just thought that whole shit was um, inappropriate. I did. I would have been more comfortable with them standing up on little platforms and then painting pictures and then like having jokes while they stood there. I don't think they should have crossed those boundaries. I don't think it was appropriate. There are no single women. I mean, in, t in terms of the cast, there are no single women except for quad. Why wouldn't he go to quad? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, d I just really feel like she that boy was sent over there just as i was thinking about it i was like okay whatever he said he don't like no man touching her and i don't blame him because let me tell you something if it was the other way around if it was women naked women and them those men sitting up there drawing naked women and those women walking around sitting their butts on tables in front of them they would not like that at all and so I do not think it was right for it to be the other way around. I don't care. I do not care. Jackie um, is cutting, you know, making breakfast for everybody because they're getting ready to come to her house before they leave. Everybody's meeting at Jackie's house. And Mariah shows, Heavenly shows up. Mariah shows up. Buffy shows up. Cecil says that we're going to do a paint, a sip and paint while y'all gone. See, they would not like that. They would not like it. I think it was incredibly in poor taste but it was tacky toya i thought the idea would have been better if those men were standing on platforms and that was it don't be walking around touching people you can't do that and then i just don't and you can see how something like that is blown out of proportion because here comes cecil 
talking about, not Cecil, Scott saying, your wife was picked up seductively. That wasn't, look, my glasses are crooked. That wasn't seductive, how that went down. That was not, that wasn't, that was him playfully picking her up. I don't, I don't know. I, I did not like that. But anyways, Mariah, what's her name? What's the lady's name? Jackie tells Mariah, why did you tell Aiden? Like, what the fuck? Well, and then they send to the clip of Aiden saying he tells Mariah everything. There is nothing wrong with telling your partner everything. But there is also nothing wrong with the way that Jackie did it, where I'm telling you what happened at the party, but I'm not telling you that those men were walking around naked because one, you wouldn't like it if it was the other way around. And two, it's going to make you uncomfortable or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Aiden went back and told everybody. So that's how that went down and told Damon. What I did notice was Okay, Toya is the one who wants a two bed, a two, what is it, a two story closet. Go back and look at how everyone was dressed on the way to Savannah and look at Toya and look at Simone, but mainly Toya because Toya is the one that believes that she's fashionable enough to wear or to have a two story closet. We don't see it for you, Toya. And that's why nobody could tell what you had on at the $500 or less party because you dress like that all the time. You tacky as hell. You tacky in your actions. You tacky in your taste. You tacky in your values, especially with that group of women. Just tacky. Just tacky. Quad and Contessa. They looked really cute when they came through. Why does the light keep going a different color, different color? Anyways. They look nice and quad. I, I know a lot of people were saying that they didn't really like her hair. I think it's very cute. I think it's very cute. I don't think it's too much blonde. I think she looks, I think, I mean, <laughs> but I don't think it's too much blonde. I just don't. I think she looks really cute. The bus gets there. So they, oh, it's four hours. What did I say? Three. So they are talking about, you know, going on the trip or whatever. And contest, not Contessa. Simone makes an announcement that Toya is in her house or got her house or whatever. And I don't know. It feels like it was like a bunch of um, confusion. It was like a lot of talking and then heavenly like blurts out. This is not a big deal. I need to watch that part again. And typically I watch the episode a few times tonight. I don't know. I just, I've been in the mood to record trying to get a little, some level of comfort at home recording. So heavenly says it's not a big deal. And what have I been saying on every episode? Toya has a different set of values than those women. I'm telling you, what's, what is spectacular for her is nothing to a woman who owns two dental practices and several homes and has sold homes and been in real estate. That's nothing. Like buying a home is nothing and it does. it's not a big deal. At the same time, it's an accomplishment for her, right? So they should celebrate it. Remember when I said last week that Toya and Contessa will always bump, head be bump heads because Contessa doesn't have the same set of values as Toya. So when it was when it's time to celebrate those accomplishments, for some women it's go or people, it's going to be hard because that's nothing to me. Buying a house is nothing. Big fucking deal. But then they start talking about the quality of the homes and what they look like. She said that, um, what's her name's house look old. So we're, but it's like not a big deal. So you could see it's like, okay, well I'm coming for, I'm coming for your home. Girl, don't nobody care. We out here, don't nobody care. Like that is what, what, how I see it. Contessa, Heavenly, I don't even think, cause Quad is not a big throw money type in your face. You know what I mean? She, I don't feel like quad has ever been like that. So they get to Savannah and they're in like some haunted B and B and they couple the rooms up, which I'm glad that they coupled the rooms up the way they did because nothing, when you are on vacation and you want to rest, I don't want to be in a bed or in a bedroom with somebody I do not get along with if I don't have to. So I'm glad that it was Contessa and Jackie. 
Simone and Buffy, Mariah and Toya, Quad and Heavenly. I don't know why I wrote Buffy and Luggage, the way she was coming up those stairs. And she, somebody said, watch the wall. <laughs> watch the walls. So they're having their drink. They're going out having an all white party. I said to myself, I thought the white, I don't particularly care for white parties, but I felt like they did the yellow. They did the pink. I thought they should probably do a color of friendship. Um, white is like a color of peace and I guess, but I think it should have been a different color. So I think it should have been a, a like I said, pink, yellow, or green, or even a lavender, just a pretty, you know, feminine color of female friendships. You know what I mean? Even a, like, um, I don't know, but white is so, I don't know. And not everybody. Sometimes people look like chips in white. You just, white is not the most flattering color on different shapes of people. You just have to have, to me, you just have to have a certain shape to, I, I love the way white looks on black folks, especially dark skinned black folks. I just don't like the way white looks on particular body types. And I just think it's bad. And I think some of those women have body types where white doesn't look the best on them, but white is play and white is also played out. Like pick, I don't know, like do something else. Like let's all wear polka dots or I don't know. Maybe they have to, maybe they keep a neutral color because they're in sororities and stuff. Maybe that's, maybe that's a reason. So anyways, they say a prayer. Heavenly says the prayer. Scott, Scott sends Contessa a text message to tell her that he's going out. And Contessa makes it a point and I understood exactly. At first I was like, wait, okay, that's exactly what she's talking about. She's saying you see, you see this? And I don't know why she showed Toya. Toya's old judgmental needs to be married. Like she needs to be married. You know, there's some people who want to be married. Toya needs to be married. I know Toya is a school teacher, but this lifestyle that Toya wants to, you know, live that might be similar to Buffy's. Um, you need to be married to someone who is making close to, a million dollars a year. You do. So for her to show her that Toya is always going to give you advice that serves the man. D did y'all hear what Toya, how Toya framed that? Like it, in essence, it's Contessa's fault. She, sh they shouldn't be making decisions without each other we're not even talking about that girl. I'm telling you the reason why he wants me back home is so he can go out some more and he, he doesn't have to worry about st being a single dad basically is what Contessa was saying. But no, what's the girl Toya? She saw it from his, she did not see it from Contessa's point of view. And that's not even what she was talking about. That's why I was like, what the fuck Toya? Shut the fuck up. So they start talking about girl code. Mariah says that it's not real. And we all agree, Mariah. We finally agree with you. Are you happy now? Are you happy? We are agreeing with you. We on your side with this. The shit is played out. But on the flip side, what Quad said about them needing resets because they are human and they mess up. She didn't say that they mess up, but we're human. We mess up. We have sometimes we need a reset but also like mariah said we agree with you again mariah sometimes it you have to eject it and that's what it is and she should be able to recognize that her and quad have ejected there's no pushing it back the tape has come out everything is flying out there's no way to reset rewind or whatever the fuck it's a wrap and the fact that we gonna get to it. So they start writing down the girl codes, which is a dumb idea. I thought it was dumb. It is a passive aggressive way to say, talk some shit to each other. You can see on the bus when Mariah started talking her shit. Oh, I just want to say something, girl, what you about to say indirectly to somebody. And that's why Qua was like, I'm talking to you. Cause you doing all this indirect shit. Be a girl. If you will be grown, 
Because you grow enough to tell lies on people, but then when somebody tells a lie on you, now you are all hurt and confused and shit and don't understand why don't nobody want to have your back. Girl, you do the same shit that you accusing somebody else of, but you want, and that's why I'm so glad that Heavenly had quads back and she didn't sit there because like Contessa said, I really skipped a lot of scene, a lot of time, but like Contessa said, you know, with their situation, you want to stay out of it. Right. But at the same time, you're not going to sit here and make this girl seem like she's doing something to you that you haven't done to her. Y'all both do shit to each other. That's the reason why they want to stay neutral, but you're not going to sit up here and carry shit over season, over season, over season. Now it's something new. Now it's something new on why people won't defend you when you have been, I'm so glad they showed the producers showed those tapes. Mariah and Quad talk shit about each other, period, and have known each other a long time. So on one side, I understand Contessa saying, we need to stay out of that shit because there's some shit that we really, that y'all don't know about. Just like um, Simone set up there on Watch What Happens Live and said, I have never seen Mariah do drugs. I have never known of Mariah doing drugs and she has never done drugs. You don't know what Mariah has done. Y'all don't know what people do outside of with y'all together. Like y'all just don't know. Y'all don't know. Just like no one knows if that man was over Quad's house in her or or, or she smelled like Lake's husband and his business cards were on the table and she vehemently denied that, but you want everybody to believe you. And now when a, a lie is told about you all of a sudden, don't believe her, but believe me when I tell you what I said about her, but don't believe her when she talks about me. Girl, bye. You get the fuck out of here, Mariah. And we are so tired, Mariah, of you feeling like you have to keep something going with somebody. Just like Jackie said in the room with Contessa, I, I say, th I try to fix it and it won't get fixed. Mariah has to hold on to something to be on that show. She is not one. She, she doesn't, like I said, with the, when, with the Shawnee and with the Shawnee executive producing and Mariah executive producing. Mariah does things in a roundabout way. She wants a certain type of treatment for being the executive producer of the show. Shawnee wants some type of treatment, but Shawnee's very direct and letting you know, if you fuck with me, you'll be off the show. Clearly Mariah doesn't have that power because quad ain't missed the beat. And you've, started rumors about quad. So if you wanted quad off the show, she would be off the show. If you had the power to have quad off the show, she'd be off the show. And we already know it. Unless you want her around so that you could actually keep an eye on her. Like I said the other day, Mariah watches, has to watch, hate watch sister circle in hopes that quad is going to say something about her. Because don't nobody defend you because they know you're just as guilty as her. And you're not going to play victim and with heavenly, heavenly sitting right across from you with a lie that you told about her husband. You still haven't shown no receipts. We're still waiting on the receipts, Mariah. So if you can tell a lie about a husband and break up something, possibly break up somebody's marriage, somebody can say that you sniffing powder, bitch. That's it. And that's it. And you're going to have to let it go because this is how you guys are getting down. And you play too. It's nobody doing nothing different. Everybody is doing the same shit. But just like Heavenly keeps saying, Mariah is dangerous. If you're making up lies about people to break up their homes, possibly break up their homes, somebody can tell a lie about you. Y'all both do it. So why should we believe Mariah over Quad? Why? When y'all both doing the same thing. So do we believe, we believe that she was with Lake's husband? Do we, be, what's worse? You blaming her for being a side chick and no, was, was she married? Was, would she have been married to Greg at the time? So that, is that some, is, was that after or before y'all let me know? Because I don't, I don't know. Was that before or after you, I'm trying to think. Was that wild? Quad? So you saying that Quad was at your brother-in-law's house. I mean, your brother-in-law was over Quad's house and she smelled like him and his cards were on the counter. We supposed to believe you? We supposed to believe you about Damon? 
we, we supposed to believe you and not believe nobody else. And when somebody tried and nobody, who defended quad? Who? Who defended quad when you said that she was with your brother-in-law? Nobody. So nobody's going to defend you either. And you want to be, you are the executive producer and you don't want to say outright, y'all need to respect me because I created this show and y'all wouldn't have this show if it wasn't for me. But you feel entitled to some level of treatment that you don't extend to anybody else. And that's just what it is. And that's just the, what the fuck it is. They write down their girl codes, ride or die chick. Don't tell lies on yourself or other people. Don't make another reason. Oh, only speak so only speak on facts. And so they get around the circle and say, if you don't, if you haven't seen it or you haven't been involved in it, don't speak on it. I don't agree with that. If some, if we are friends and we are in a friend group and you hear someone say something about me and you don't come and tell me, I don't give a fuck who it is. If I have to find out from somebody else and you were there and didn't tell me, now I got a problem with you. So if you do hear something and you need to come and say, hey, listen, I heard this is this. I don't, I know it's not true. If you don't believe it, I know it's not true, but this is what's going on. And this is what somebody said about you. Because if I find out you was there and you didn't have my back behind my back, we can't be friends. I don't give a fuck. So I don't agree with that. Don't say anything to anybody, I feel like if you have a rumor about somebody give, gave you a rumor, just like with basketball wives, Jackie didn't t go to Malaysia with the rumor about her kids being dirty. She went to Evelyn and Phoebe about it. So you start, you, somebody brought a rumor to you and you took it to somebody else without taking it to me. I have a problem with you. And that's what it is. Um, respect each other's privacy. Quad doesn't want anybody asking about her privacy and the reason why is because you guys are employees to quad y'all not her friends so the you have to be mindful in her from her point of view i feel like she's saying you have to be mindful in what you ask me and how you ask me because are you trying to be my friend or are you trying to find out some shit before the blogs find out right toya is so passive aggressive i don't know what the fuck she's very very childish they get to Buffy's thing. Accept my success is basically what Buffy's saying. She's saying she has a hard time making girlfriends because they end up using her. And Toya in her interview says, didn't I tell you? I don't know if they're going to try to do this on every episode if they're trying to do this. But every episode since we've met Buffy, Toya has said some shit about Buffy's money. Now, Buffy says that her... her she, it's hard to make friends because people use her. Toya translates that into you don't have friends because you tell your friends you're at the top and they're at the bottom. Are you projecting Toya? Like what the fuck? Cause I didn't hear that. Did y'all hear that from, from Buffy's, um, girl code, little fortune cookie thing. Did y'all hear that? Because I didn't hear that. Let me know what y'all heard. Cause I didn't hear that. I didn't hear her say, cause my friends are at the bottom. I heard her say, people have a problem with my success and I can't keep friends long. A lot of people say that. And we just talked about envy and jealousy. We think, do we think Toya might be jealous of the lifestyle and the budget Buffy has? Cause she said that everybody in Atlanta, nobody's frugal in Atlanta. We show out in Atlanta. You have another woman showing out a little bit more than you and you keep making mentions about her money. And she's telling you, I have a problem making friends cause people have an issue with my success and people ask her for money. And you translated that into, you don't have any friends cause you tell your friends you're at the top and they're at the bottom. That's what you heard, Toya. Toya's ass is crazy as hell. I'm looking, you saw me looking for my glasses. I'm trying to get my notes together. What was Jackie's thing? Did Jackie say she wanted friends that um didn't tell her to leave her husband or wouldn't allow her to stay with her husband if she needed to leave? I don't know. Simone, that was a lie. It was a lie because nobody, everybody knew that you were upset about Cecil not working. Everybody, everybody knew they talked about it at the reunion. 
even Cecil said she's getting a little tired of me being at home or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what she, I, I feel like that was a lie. Come up with something else. That's what Heavenly said. I said, I find it. I find Mariah exhausting. I do. I feel like she, she's very, I feel like she's draining. I also feel like quad is draining. I feel like quad is not, I don't want to say difficult to deal with, but I feel like it's a lot of, especially when quad and Mariah are in the room. It's, I don't want to say it's, a. it's a craving of attention, but I think, I think Mariah wants someone to take her side when it comes to quad and nobody is doing that. And I think that's what bothers her because I really feel like, and I hate to be on the colorism thing, but I really feel I've, I've always, I've always said this about Mariah and quad. I really feel like quad was supposed to be Mariah's flunky. And when quad got on married to medicine, she was a fan favorite. Everybody loved quad down to her little swoop bang and her, we know that she got a thousand voices. We know she turns it on and off, but we also know that she's very dramatic. We also know she is very dramatic and takes a lot of energy. I think Mariah is looking for take my side, take my side when heavenly is not going to take your side and everybody else is staying neutral because one, because well, um, Simone is not staying neutral. Simone is taking Mariah's side and Toya has taken Mariah's side and I really has taken Mariah's side because they really don't get along with, um, heavenly and heavenly is not going to stick up for Mariah. She's not Contessa is not going to stick up for either of them. She's already said she don't want to be involved in it. So now you, Jackie is not going to stick up for Mariah. Jackie never defends Mariah and I really feel like they don't defend her because you do the same shit. I've just, that's how I feel. At one point during their little roundabout thing, they said that husbands and families are off limits and it's impossible for husbands and families to be off limits. I can understand children, but husbands no, because this is married to medicine and your lives are about you being married. And your husbands are included in that. This is not a, the bad girls club. This is not a single, single and mar single to medicine. This is not single and looking or whatever the hell y'all are all married women with the exception of quad and your husbands are going to sometimes get in. If your husbands are getting checks to be on the show, we should be able to talk about them. When I say we, I mean everybody, especially if they have an opinion about something that concerns me right? If they have a, uh, if they have an opinion about something that happened on the show, they are on the show too. There's no way. And it makes no sense to say we can't talk about the husband. No, no sense. It makes none at all. And for them to come up with that rule is ridiculous because as much as Cecil, Eugene, Aiden get involved in the shit is impossible to leave husbands off limits. Now, Damon is a different story because Damon doesn't involve himself. He can't, he works. So he can't involve himself in any of that shit. He don't have time to involve himself. And that's what heavenly has on her side. Like my husband is not about to be on here tweeting folks. He don't even have time to be doing that. And maybe if your husband had a job, he wouldn't have time to do it either. What's wrong with that? It's true and she's responding to it. So I don't think, I think it's ridiculous to suggest that they leave the husbands out, especially if Mariah is sending pictures to her husband and her husband is sharing it with the rest of the men. Leave the, if you leave the husbands out, leave the husbands out, but it doesn't make sense. So you can't do it. It doesn't make sense. So you can't do it. Mariah is never going to let that shit go with quad and she's always going to play the victim. Quad is not taking it back. And you know, um, what's the girl's name? they had all their white on and Toya looked like she had on a cotton dress from the Nike store girl. I mean like honey, and I'm not the biggest, I am not a fashionista by far, but I don't claim to be one either. And then dress as casual as I do. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, I don't know what's up with Toya, but like I said, a different set of value systems. Mariah and quad don't need to be friends. They need to stop trying. The ship has sailed. I love that Heavenly said that she believed Quad.
Because, bitch, if you gonna sit up here and lie on my husband and say you got receipts on my husband and we know it's a lie and somebody tells a lie about you and I co-sign the lie, bitch, you already know what we doing. So let's do it. I believe her. That's exactly what Heavenly's doing because if you did not notice, and it just came on again and I want to watch it. If you did not notice that Heavenly, when she was sitting in the bed after they came back from that dinner and they was outside arguing, um, that she said, if I got a lie for you and be on, I don't know if she said be on your side, but she said, if I got a lie for my friend, that's what I'm going to do. Did you, I don't know. I, I, let me know if you heard her say that because I feel like she don't, she may or may not believe that shit about Mariah, but because you lied on my husband, whoever's telling anything about you, I'm going to co-sign it. Cause you don't have no receipts on my husband. And so if you, if we lying, you lying too, and you need to come up off of it. And that's what it is. And that's what it is. We are all tired of Mariah. I think we, I think a lot of people are tired of, she played every season. She plays the same role every season. Don't you got a book coming out? Cause Toya got a children's book out. What you got coming out, Mariah? Can we find out what the fuck is going on in your life? Like for real. Because this trying to figure out things to be mad at people about or to be so hurt and oh my God, they just don't. Know. And then you call Aiden and Aiden's on the other line telling you, why did you bring it up? Why did you bring it up? Why? Why did you bring it up? He asked her, did y'all hear Aiden ask her on the phone? Why did you bring it up? Exactly. So I said, Mariah Q's quad is sleeping with a married man. What's worse? What's worse y'all? Drug use or infidelity? Because what when I tell you women fight by trying to ruin social status and a, a group of married women can't stand nothing about a woman who is asleep with a married man. And that's what you did among this friend group of married women said that your, that girl across the couch over there slept with a married man. And that happened to be your sister. And then a week later she she was in her wedding. So it was before she was married. So, and was in her wedding. That's what we doing. Shut up, Mariah. I don't, I just find her exhausting. I'd rather deal with quad. If I had to choose and deal with Mariah, cause bitch, what the fuck? I'm, I'm waiting for your ass to squeeze a tear out girl. And did you hear Mariah say about quad y'all created? Now, what were they wait before I get to that? What were they calling each other? Pearlene and Geraldine? What was that about? And who the fuck are they talking about? Because what is Trap House Lucy's name? I know it can't be Lucy. It gotta be something else. Because why were they calling each other those old lady names? Pearlene and Geraldine. Did y'all hear that when they were standing outside and they were locked out of that place? That was a mess. Mariah said, y'all created a monster. And my theory is, this girl done got so popular, so popular that y'all not even holding her accountable. Y'all not saying nothing to her. Y'all created a monster. She wasn't supposed to be where she is. Mariah wants y'all to choose a side because she is the executive producer of the show and she's too chicken shit to say it. And that's what it is. Quad is supposed to be Mariah's flunk. You already said that Mariah puts on a honey Mariah putting on stunts and shows. I wonder how Mariah was when she was a little girl. I wonder how many tantrums she was allowed to throw. And I wonder how many tantrums Lake was allowed to throw child. Mariah calls Aiden and knows he will lose his shit. But I heard Aiden on the other line say, why did you bring it up? You can't just. I don't know. They was all bringing up their shit. Contessa's approach is best when it comes to Mariah and Quad. Stay out of it. This is Mariah's storyline every season. Every season. Somebody's not defending her. Somebody's not coming to her defense. But when you start a rumor about somebody, when do, what do you want from them? What do you want? I think they should stay out of it, but inject when necessary. When right is right and wrong is wrong. Heavenly injecting herself was warranted because like I explained earlier, you are saying that this girl's lying on you, but are you lying on my husband? 
Exactly. Raya doesn't feel like anyone comes to her defense because they've all, they all know how she operates. She didn't talk about everybody. Heavenly. Um, what's the name? Jackie, Toya, Simone. She didn't talk about everybody. But now everybody's supposed to defend you. They're really staying neutral and she wants them to defend her. Heavenly is not going to defend you, Mariah. And Toya is not going to defend Quad. And what's the other one? Simone is not going to defend Quad. You're looking for somebody to choose sides and they're not going to do it. And I just, I don't know. I don't know. I said, I really believe that Mariah feels some type of way about Quad's success. I really do. I feel like she really thought that Quad was going to be in a position maybe just a little bit behind her. And Quad has gotten a divorce from a successful psychiatrist and has made her made herself into this person that we see on the television. She has a show, she got the cookbook, she's she's a hustler and she's taken has taken this opportunity and has surpassed Mariah. What has Mariah done with her opportunity with Married to Medicine? Are we just going to keep married to medicine and then treat people a certain way with an expectation that they treat you a certain way? No. Quad went off and done, has done her thing. And I really feel like Mariah did not expect that. And she's has a problem with it, but I don't even think that she's jealous or it, I don't think that I really think that. This girl has surpassed you, has moved past you and has, and doesn't care about you and pays you dust to the point where you have an issue with her saying that you were on drugs, but you had no issue saying that she was sleeping with your sister's husband. And you want somebody to take, take your side and defend you. Why? 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 Anyways, that was it, y'all. They show next week. She gets ready to, she leaves. Girl, is, and, and she looks like she's leaving alone. Nobody is coming to try. And the only person that's going, let me tell you something. The only person that's going to go try and get Mariah is Toya. Because Toya is the one person on this show that can be replaced. And that's the reason why she acts a fool with every new person. Because she's the one. Because Eugene is really not that interesting. And he's not that attractive and he can be moved around. Is Toya a, can she hold her own? No, she cannot. Toya is not that interesting. She has a book out. I just saw on what, watch what happens live, but whatever. I mean, great. It's a kid's book. Wonderful. Um, Andy didn't even ask her like what inspired it. What made you write a book? Are you going to have a series? Like he didn't even ask her any questions like that. You can be replaced and Buffy's here. You got a problem with Buffy. You always saying some shit about her money. Projecting like, come on, you can be replaced. You don't do anything. No philanthropy. We don't see nothing, but you throw a good party. You throw a cute party. I keep saying Toya should open an event planning business, but like Heavenly said, she's lazy. She has a, her husband makes a lot of money. She, and some people are fine with that, but when your children are at school, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not a stay at home mom, so I can't even speak on being a stay at home mom, but y'all got money and you sit at home and you think the little wine with a little aerator on it is something cute. Like you just so, it's some, I'm not here for Toya either. I'm not here for Toya. I'm not here for Toya and I'm not here for Mariah and hey, uh, Simone. We hanging on. I've never, I've never been here for Jackie, but I still don't like Cecil. I just don't. I just don't like the way he did that woman after she went through all that she went through and everything has to be like, I don't even like the way that Jackie is talking about him. Like when they had the episode with the sex toys and she was like, 
I bet you he would want me to bring that home. But then you wouldn't, you're so prudish that you wouldn't let Heavenly slap you with a little whip. Like, we don't believe you. <laughs> we don't believe you. And that's why we don't want your book. <laughs> uh, anyways, y'all, uh, that's it. That's my time. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care of each other. Wonderful evening. Take care of each other and protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments and finish talking. Maybe Did I miss anything? Let me know what I missed. I know I missed a the lot of the hullabaloo in the damn bus. So that's why I'm going to watch it again. I might come back and say something. I might not, but whatever. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good night.